Hi, welcome to today's Holy Week devotion on Good Friday. We are in Luke chapter 23. Why don't you read that reading today? I want to pick up particularly verse 32 to 43. I had an interesting conversation with my son a few days ago about forgiveness. Uh, We were reading about a young woman who'd been brutally murdered and how her parents went and met with the arrested murderers and forgave them. What really surprised and interested me was reading the comments below and how so many people expressed outrage that the parents could do something like that. Some even said that they had betrayed their daughter. This act of forgiveness to those who don't deserve it feels wrong to people. And yet forgiveness here is at the very heart of Good Friday an act of forgiveness by the innocent to the guilty. Forgiveness is on the lips of Jesus towards the soldiers, even as they drove in the nails. He says in verse 34, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is the first of the so-called seven sayings of Jesus on the cross. And this very first sentence of Jesus on the cross is perhaps the most uncomfortable. How could Jesus ask God to forgive the very people who are nailing him to the cross, torturing him to the extreme, gambling over possession of his clothing? Jesus prays for those very executioners. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And in a world that is strong on revenge and weak on reconciliation, these words are not popular. Of course, it never has been. Did you know that some of the oldest manuscripts that we have of Luke's gospel, a few of them actually skip out this verse of Jesus saying, Father, forgive them. Because the the copyist just couldn't bring himself to write that down and put that on the words of Jesus. It just didn't seem right. And so some of them left it out. How can the innocent forgive such brutal executors? But of course, offered forgiveness is not necessarily accepted forgiveness. And just look on at the second act of forgiveness with the thief on the cross. The thief on the cross says to the other criminal who is insulting Jesus, don't you fear God, verse 40? Since you are under the same sentence, we are punished justly for what we are, for we are getting what our sins deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. And then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Do you see the difference? The one thief, like the soldiers, didn't see his guilt, but the other thief did. We are punished justly for what we are deserving of. And he knows Jesus is innocent. So whatever the intended request in his prayer to Jesus, Jesus, remember me. I think he got more than he expected. Verse 43, Jesus answered him, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. In essence, words of forgiveness to a repentant sinner. And so what you have in these two sayings of Jesus on the cross is a slight difference related to the response of the person. For his unrepentant uh, executioners, Jesus prays, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. But for the repentant thief on the cross, Jesus effectively prays, Father, forgive him, for he knows what he has done. And I wonder today, which prayer applies to you?